that brought the house down at Comic-Con, the Deadpool trailer has finally been unleashed on the masses, and it is awesome! You like jokes? It's got jokes. Do you like ultraviolence? Yeah, there's a bunch of that. Want to see the fourth wall get broken? Prepare to see that wall get f***ed up! Let's break this trailer down, y'all. First up, the trailer messes with us a little, and probably those who don't know Deep Pooley by showing us sexy pre-horrible disfigurement by Weapon X, Ryan Reynolds, and tossing around generic dialogue. You just promise you'll do right by me, so I can do right by someone else. Maybe you were worried your Deadpool was gonna go the grim dark route of the Dark Knight trilogy, but worry not, with the flip of a switch, Ryan Reynolds shatters the fourth wall by taking the piss out of his superhero past, directly referencing his crummy Green Lantern costume. And please don't make the super suit green. Or animated! We then get our first glimpse of the movie's megadouche villain Ajax, played by Game of Thrones former Dario Naharis, Ed Screen. Here we see him working in the lab where Weapon X rejects get mercilessly experimented on, hanging out with Gina Carano's Angel Dust, or as Wade likes to call her, Less angry Rosie O'Donnell? It doesn't look like she's a badass sewer-dwelling Morlock anymore, just another mutant with super strength. Ajax is the perfect choice for Deadpool's first cinematic supervillain since, well, he was Deadpool's first comic book villain. The dude's got enhanced strength, speed, agility, and all that stuff, plus rewired nerve endings that stop him from feeling any pain. When we get our first look at Deadpool proper, the suit itself looks like it was ripped straight out of the comics, complete with CG emoting eyes, which look fantastic and not too over the top. Let's just hope this tech makes it over to Marvel's new Spider-Man suit too. Now in the highway action scene, we get to see some great hand acting from Ryan Reynolds that really makes this Deadpool feel like he leapt right off the page. We see some of the old ultraviolence thanks to the Merc with the Mouth's impressive agility and trademark sword and guns combo. We even get to hear him earn that nickname name with some great one-liners and break that fourth wall. Cue the music. Oh, and wouldn't you know it, there's Colossus, who we've said before will be the rigs to Deadpool's Murtaugh buddy cop style. He's fully CG this time around with a more comic booky look. And check out that sweet X-Men costume. I wonder which version of the team he's a part of. The grown-up X-Men Apocalypse kids, maybe? It would explain why he looks so different and is played by a different actor. Negasonic Teenage Warhead the Goth Telepath pops up. We meet Wade's roommate, Blind Al. Wilson has some good old-fashioned sexy time with his lady friend Vanessa Carlisle, aka Copycat, the former prostitute turned mutant mercenary played by Firefly's Morena Baccarin. She doesn't have blue skin this time around because if she and Jennifer Lawrence showed up wearing the same thing, that'd just be embarrassing. <laughs> Finally, we get a metric ton of hilarious attempts by Deadpool's information broker slash sidekick Weasel to describe just how hideous Wade Wilson looks post-Weapon X transformation, and yeah, he totally does. It's a hell of a lot better than old Melty Mouth from X-Men Origins Wolverine. All in all, the Deadpool trailer looks just like the movie we want, need, and deserve, and you folks should congratulate yourselves, because like Ryan Reynolds said at Comic-Con, your reaction from the leaked scene made Fox green like this. So tell us, friends, are you digging the Deadpool trailer? Are you excited to see a smaller scale superhero story? Or do you wish Deadpool was in a more over-the-top Gonzo movie like his recent adventures in the comics? Let's discuss over at Nerdist.com, which you should always be checking for more Nerdist news.